Michael Nagy here with Jiggy Jag TV and DiscoveringBands.com. And for everyone watching for this video, my channel will help support the awesome bands I feature. And today I'm here with Twin Tribes. How are you doing today? Hey, what's up, Michael? Hey, how you doing? Doing good. Good, good. It's great to have you back. Thank you. Yeah, likewise. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, I want to start off by saying your uh, new remix album, Alters, is awesome. And it really gives a different feel to your songs. And uh, how did that come to be? Thank you, thank you. Uh, glad, glad that you like it. It kind of just started. Um, it wasn't even planned. Um, we had received a couple of uh, requests from several artists. I think it was maybe two or three. And it wasn't until we heard all of those initial two or three remixes that just happened by coincidence. Then that's when we actually started planning out the album. Yeah, kind of just happened organically a little bit. Awesome, man. What would you guys say makes a good remix? That's a great question. Um, I think uh, a, a good remix is something that um, is obviously a little bit deviated from the original source material and and also giving it your vibe, right? Um, I think a lot of the, well, all of the bands that were on Alters, um, you know, they did an excellent job at doing that. So every single song, it, it honestly felt like, you know, listening to, you know, the songs that we made all over again, like it was something new, something fresh. So I think that's what a good remix would be. Awesome. Yeah. You guys have become a pretty uh, well-established name in the scene. So when you put out new material, is it kind of, you know, difficult to make sure you want to set the bar higher each time when you put out a new release? Always, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's always it's always very difficult um, putting out new material. We always want to, you know, kind of evolve and and make sure that you know we're we're giving it our our best, and um, we want to make sure that you know every release is special, and just like how it was for Alter, so it was a very very special release, uh, and we're really happy with it. Yeah, we definitely don't like to like. Um half-ass i guess you could say something like we really put thought and an effort into every release and and um, uh we i think that since since the beginning like it's, it's been like that awesome i know you guys currently working on any more new music <laughs> we we're working on new music but you know we don't have anything uh in mind to to release you know we want to give alters you know the proper time and uh, it was just released, so for maybe the next original album, um, maybe next year. Yeah, we've got a lot of um, touring to do behind Ceremony, and now Alters, right? Um, we didn't get that chance uh, when Ceremony first released. Um, we got to play maybe six shows, and that's yeah. probably being nice. Uh, but uh, we, we really want to push that album, we really want to get behind that, and. Uh, we still have some surprises lined up for Ceremony, um, which should uh, be coming up here pretty soon. Awesome. And with Alters, how did that, did you reach out to the other artists? Did they reach out to you or how did those, uh, you know, remixes happen? We, we initially received uh, the request for, you know, maybe I think the first three. Um, after that, that's when we started, you know, brainstorming ideas of who would be a uh, cool artist and would it be cool to do a remix album. And yeah, basically from there, everyone else we reached out to and uh, they all did an amazing job, to be honest, with, the, with their remixes. Perfect album for quarantine time. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, I, I think, think so. so. I, I think I think quarantine definitely made like a push in in the remix area, not just with us, but like with the scene in general. And and it's cool. It's cool to to listen to other interpretations of other artists. Like you know, we were listening to. I think it was a version of it was a Contravoid remix. Uh, or it was a mutant uh, song remixed by Contravoid. Yeah. The other way around, I can't remember. No, but yeah, it, it was like that. Yeah. It was it was such a such a cool such a cool remix, and it's you know it brings in a different vibe. And I think I'm I'm a big fan of remixes right now. Yeah, and and we've done several for other bands. Um, some that have already been released. Uh, we did Clan of Zymox, and uh, we did one for um, Geometric Vision. Geometric Vision. 
that was released, The Starry Night, uh, we did one as well. Um, several remixes that we've ever released, and some that haven't been released. So, you know, who knows when those will come out, So if they'll come out. But, um, you know, I think it, it's been really cool kind of doing something else, right, with our, with musically uh, that we weren't really, you know, looking to do to begin with, but the pandemic kind of, you know, swerved us in that in that direction. Awesome. And how have you guys handled it yourself? I think we, we've we handled it pretty well. Uh, we, we kept busy. We did, uh, we have been doing a lot of remixes for other artists, you know, released, unreleased. We have still uh, a pretty high queue. And, and then besides that, new merch, we have uh, waiting on vinyl, waiting, waiting on new CDs. And so we definitely have uh, been keeping busy. Yeah, that's really what it is. You know, if, if we're not keeping busy, uh, we're going crazy, right? Like we're just kind of like, oh, what do we do? What do we do with ourselves, right? Um, so, so yeah, keeping busy has been the the, the big key to us surviving the, the pandemic and, and kind of getting through it, I guess, artistically, right? In that sense and, and uh, just as a band. I see you got a tour coming up, so that must be exciting to get out live again. Can't wait. <laughs> like that's, that's, we've been waiting for that for what's a year and a half now, right? A yeah. little bit, a little bit uh, longer. Uh, it's just, you know, we miss it. We miss the road. We miss, you know, seeing the people, seeing our friends, seeing other bands. Um, you know, it, it, it's all so important to us since we first started, right? It, it was mm -hmm. right away. We, we instantly, as soon as we started uh, Twin Tribes, we recorded the album and then we were hitting the road here in Texas and looking to the West Coast and the East Coast and, and all that good stuff. And it's always been a big part of what we do. And some of the dates I see you got some awesome bands you'll be playing with. She Passed Away and Wingtips. Yeah, those shows were announced. What was that announced on Tuesday or Monday of this week? I think so. The the she passed away ones, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. So we have a couple of dates uh, for the what is it December? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, she passed away shows. We have you know the tour that's coming up in September with Wingtips, uh, which we're really looking forward to. So much. Um, and then we have a couple more shows in November. Uh, yeah, a lot of good stuff. And we have some other shows that haven't been announced yet that are also, they also have some, some pretty awesome lineups uh, on them. So, uh, so we still have that to look forward to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so exciting to have a lot of music coming back. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And if people want to find you online, look you up, get your music on social media, how do they do that? Um, you can go to our, our uh well, we have different websites where you can get our merch. We have Big Cartel, Bandcamp. The easiest way to do it, to be honest, is just to go to our beacons. So it's like beacons.ai slash twin underscore tribes, and you'll be able to see everything, right? Pre-orders, um, our, our merch, our, where you can find our music, uh, links to our Spotify, all that good stuff is on there. So that's the main way to kind of triage your way through it. And you can find that link if you go to our Instagram link is in bio so uh, our instagram is twin underscore tribes that kind of uh, the beacons is a hub that directs you wherever whatever it is you're looking for merch you want to listen to you know new music or you want to see uh, i don't know any important news or updates like that would be the place playlists we put up playlists there too so right. that's pretty cool awesome now with this uh, remix album you think maybe down the line in the future you'll do another one I don't know. I'm, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not too sure if there will be another one. This one's really special. It's been very special. Yeah, uh, and I feel like maybe doing another remix album is not going to be as special. Uh, but it's it's been a great experience. It's It's been a, a really uh, fun album to, to be working with and working with other artists. The moment that we receive that final mix and it's like, wow, like, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's, they did a great job. And it's kind of like a replay, replay it, replay it. Let's keep listening to it because it's just so different. Mm -hmm. um, I'll, I'll never say never to anything, usually. <laughs> I'm, I'm like just that kind of person. Uh, who knows uh, in the future? There were a lot of like artists that weren't able to be a part of it. They did want to be, but they couldn't. Or they just, you know, not that they didn't, they didn't make the cut. It was just so hard because there were so many people that uh, uh, sent us, you know, remixes and, and um, mm -hmm. you know, or asked. Or yeah. asked, yeah. We couldn't fit it all into into one album, um, nor did we want to, right? We wanted to give some, but something that's very special 
Um, and uh, but yeah, who knows? Who knows? Right now, we're not really thinking about it. I think this is this is great and it's solid. So we'll see in the future. Awesome. Yeah, like I said, you guys did an incredible job. It's so cool to hear your songs have a whole different vibe and feel to it. You know, it's really cool. Yeah, yeah, the bands did a great job. They were so good. Yeah, well, it was great having you, and I look forward to what you guys got coming up in the future, and everybody, look them up. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for See having you, us, Michael. Thank Bye. you. And for everyone watching, I've linked their music in the video description, so go check that out.